Hey everybody, uh, we had an amazing session today. We was averaging about 19, 20 knots, gusting probably around 23, 24. And uh, yeah, started out with uh, a test of the 50 meter R1 V2 with 13 meter lines and a 62 centimeter bar. And that thing moved fast, but it was, you know, even though I could, you know, go out and handle it on my foil, I've got a spots uh, three, um, it was, yeah, a little bit too much, but it was great to be, you know, real great to actually be able to go out with a 15 meter in those conditions, which goes to show that shorter lines, you're actually almost, you know, increasing your range by like you know, five to more knots. Um, so that's another way that you can go is, you know, instead of buying a bigger kite, you can just get shorter lines and you know try that out at least with the foils i don't know how that's going to work with the inflatables but just something to think about uh, i got out got on my 11 meter r1 v2 put 17 meter lines on that and uh it was perfect amazing just on the on the down jive on the on the on the jive on the down loop uh got on it it got into a bit of trouble and wow that was very close i was going to end up on that um on that island next to the canal and that was a little tricky but got out of it um, really surprised how even though that that kite was just just in a mess um, and somehow I was able to just release it um, get all the wingtips out and manage to get back up but yeah woof well, I was uh, was sweating there for a little while and um, again I mean if you want one thing that I noticed uh, if you want to go and, and practice your jibes you know start out way upwind and and then go downwind that's that's a good uh, thing to think about and um i had somebody come up to me today and ask me about uh about foiling about the setup and how to like make sure that the foil nose stops bucking out of the water and that's what that was his issue uh, he's a big guy he's riding a bigger kite as well so he's probably a little bit overpowered you know just as he's coming out so he was using just one front strap so I suggest that he moves that front strap forward and he also adds the rear strap. The reason I mentioned to add the rear strap is that the only time I ever really hurt my ankle by twisting it was because I bored somebody's foil, went on it, fell off, one uh, ankle still there, all that, you know, your body, all that torsion goes to the ankle because that's the only thing in there. Whereas if you have both feet in it, you fall, you're going to fall back, both feet are still in there. So the foil is essentially an extension of your body. You're able to manage that a lot more. So guys, please don't use that one strap. I don't understand why people suggest or, or think that's a good idea. I personally don't. Please tell me, if, you know, prove me wrong. Tell me why you think it's a good idea. And uh, let me know what you think about this format. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you want to see more of those. Ask some questions. I'm happy to answer them here too um or just you know tell me this this sucks and you know how i can improve it so thanks a lot for watching and uh tomorrow looks like it's going to be a great session too looks like it's going to be even more than today and uh yeah see you next time